Something special from him here if they're going to get something respectable to defend. They're under big pressure. He'd be the man to get them there. Yeah, the problem he's got is a, his team finished and stuttered and stumbled so badly in the last game but he realizes or he should realize that a score of around 220 probably not going to be competitive against this England side and so he's going to feel he wants a few more oh. a better line. some return some won't that's the conundrum for him that he can get a score of around, well, 240 maybe, if he can get there, he'll feel with the extra turn that we've seen on this surface, his spinners might be in business if there's no due. England's batting is in form at the moment, we know that, they've got a couple of players that have struck the ball really well, Butler, Stokes, it's in good nick, but to see what a total is going to end up with yet. Goes big again. That uh, is an excellent strike. Second six. Two sixes in the over. 12 runs from it. 182 for seven. Just finds the gap. That was a slur ball. Just pulled out the shot at the last minute. Wasn't fully committed to it. Also came up really well. No discernible change in action or wrist position. Great delivery that. Fingers behind the ball, seam up still, so it's very tough to pick that type of slow delivery. Off cut, leg cut, it's quite visible with the wrist and the change of action. Good piece of bowling. It's a great bit of fielding. Direct hit, and yeah, I think direct hit, and he would have gone. We're scrambling to make their ground. Absolutely superb, a deep mid wicket. Jason Roy slid, picked it up, same motion, let it go, and hit. He was he was gone, way out of his ground. Interesting running from Nassi, we said that a lot over the years as well. <laughs> Just a little bit of cover now, big square. My leg is up, have to have four in the circle. Got to get his side up above 230, 240, maybe beyond. And if he can do that, then... Hits it so well he can't even get one, even though the field is right on the edge of the circle. What happens while he's swinging and not always connecting it perfectly is dot balls accumulating. Yeah, the one wide, but in a couple of dot balls already. It's only going to make the captain try and swing even harder. Up. There is long on in place, but he's got too much of it. Desperate effort. Just about found the middle of the bat again. It looked like it was not in control, but it's mighty effective. No idea how he generated the power to hit it from this base. Leaning back, short ball, slow ball. He had to get all the power on the stroke. Amazing shot. Leaning back and above the shoulder heart, and he still had the distance. Amazing shot. High score for the captain in his last 14 ODI, so Philly owes the team some runs here. 
this time offside won't go for a boundary crucial runs these from Mortaz he goes up to 29 from 17 deliveries 200 being brought up with that maximum as well in this crowd they've got a feeling it's a big four overs and two balls to go Mortaza get it up there give them a shot give them a chance in this game Shot. that's the shot no one at long off just about gets enough elevation wonderful over this for Bangladesh with a ball to go he's learned his lesson he tried to go over wide mid wicket previously and now giving a bit of room outside the off stump goes over that area where the field is up in the ring that is good timing didn't try and hit this too hard on this occasion as, he, as he's done before Glorious stroke over the offside, and this is becoming a very, very good and productive over for Bangladesh. 13 from it already. Yeah, stunning counter punch this from the captain. 33 from 18. Pressure now on David Willey. Well, won't get away with it. Captain's not happy. Trying to run it across, hoping Mortaz has a swing across the line and lets it go. Seems a lot more accomplished, a lot more balance and calm now. Mortaz seems like he's seeing it big. He's had to change events. The captain's had to mix it up. Will he not going to plan previous over? Mortaz are getting hold of him. Bit of a change up, which has been used on the far end throughout the series. Looks like England have decided they don't want to bowl back of a length to Mortaza because they feel the threat is more deep on the leg side where he can free his arms and his hands and attack the ball. The Yorker length, pretty much all he can do. That's a good piece of communication. Captain and bowlers chatting to each other in between over saying, where do we want to go to the batsman that's in? We go full and wide, limiting to a certain area of the field and make him hit the ball where he doesn't want to hit it. Even, uh, even with the fielding, it's only ever going to be one. The captain was just sauntering down. He wants the strike. Just pacing himself. He's got a bit of a spell after the dinner break as well, so... Saving all that energy, conserving it, trying to get a couple more big blows out the ground towards the tail of this innings. Try the Yorker again, you'll desperately want to come back for two. Nazir, good running. Saad hasn't really been able to beautifully played beautifully placed boundary to Nazir must need a boundary a couple of dot balls to start the over it wasn't ideal for them go full and wide and he coughed it away amongst that backward point region frustration out there quite execute that what he'd like to have done that's his best eighth wicket partnership in ODIs against England and a good time for that to come up too again beautifully played wonderfully played just to open the face you definitely favor Bangladesh's spin bowlers again good cricket good Careful. 
particularly when your actions being worked out and uh, what's happening here well there's someone who's run onto the field just to try and uh, acknowledge Mashrafi Motasa well Mashrafi Motasa just just telling everybody it's, it's all right it's all right and uh, well obviously the law enforcement uh, will not tolerate this this is not allowed in international cricket anymore you don't um, tend to allow spectators to run onto the field so this is uh, not very good so obviously I'm, I'm not surprised that the security has pounced on him not surprising at all Mashrafe just requesting the security be a bit patient with him it's not ideal just came out of nowhere exactly where did he come from that's the question it, it's quite uh, 45 and it's a very tight uh, security cordon and uh, Play held up. Just, just look at how he, how he responds to him. Uh, that's very statesman-like, very mature, and just making sure that uh, he makes the security people understand. Though they must be under a lot of pressure. বৈশাখ এখনো আসেনি কিন্তু কাল বৈশাখী ঝড় বয়ে গেল টাইগার ভক্তদের মনে হঠাৎই ইন্টারন্যাশনাল টি টোয়েন্টি থেকে অবসরের ঘোষণা ক্যাপ্টেন মাশরাফি বিন মর্তুজার লঙ্কার বিপক্ষে দুটো ম্যাচ দিয়ে শেষ হচ্ছে ম্যাচের বর্ণাঢ্য টি টোয়েন্টি ক্যারিয়ার বাংলার সবচেয়ে লড়াকু ক্রিকেটারকে খেলা যোগের স্যালুট আই হেড আ লিটল রুমার দ্যাট ইউ মাইট বি রিটায়ারিং ফ্রম টি টোয়েন্টি ক্রিকেট ইজ দ্যাট রাইট Yeah, obviously, uh, uh, this uh, T20 series is going to my uh, last series for, for Bangladesh cricket. And I'd like to thank uh, to my BCB, uh, Cricket Control Board, uh, to my family and friends, uh, obviously, uh, my teammates and coaching staff and all the supporting um, um, fans. Are, those have been really supporting and praying for me the uh, last 50, 16 years. So I'd like to thank them. All right, fantastic. You had a great career. Well done on the toss thing. We'll, we'll speak a little bit later on. Well done, mate. Thank you. Hello. বৈশাখের ওই রুদ্র ঝড়ে আকাশ যখন ভেঙে পড়ে ছেড়াপাল আরও ছিঁড়ে যায় তখন হাল ধরেন বাংলার ছেলে মাশরাফি জানি শুধু চলতে হবে এতরি বাইতে হবে আমি যে সাগর মাঝিরে গানের কথাই যেন মাশরাফির মনের কথা মাশরাফির বিশ্বাস তবু তরি বাইতে হবে খেয়া পারি দিতেই হবে যতই ঝড় উঠুক সাগরে সাত সাতবার ছুরি কাচের আঘাত পাটাকে প্রায় বিসর্জনী দিয়েছেন দেশটার জন্য যেন জীবন কাটে যুদ্ধ করে প্রাণের মায়া সাঙ্গ করে 
जीवन स्वाद ना ही पाई लंका सीरिजे आग पर मैच टी टोटी खेले बावान्न उट नहीं उनचल्लिशा रान कर तीन सौ ऊनसाठ क्योंकि परिसंख्यन धारण करना एक जो मशराफी के मैच मठे थका मान बांगाल मन जेतार विश्वास बैशाख बांगलार दुआारे क्योंकि बांगला अधिनयक आचमका अवसर घोषणा आचमका कल बैशाखिर आघात कोटी कोटी भक्त हृदय मशराफिर हटात यह सीधान जान आकाश भेगे पड़े क्रिकेट प्रेमी माथाय मेने ना ये तो क्यों टी टोटर कप्तानी थे सर दाड़ाते हलो टाइगार कप्तान के दृश्यपाटे रही कैप्टन एवं व्यक्ति मशराफी के छवि त्याग कर उत्थान पतने एगे गशराफिर कैरियर कैप्टेंसर गल्पते रेस इंजुरी आरोप कख कख पारिपार्शिकता बाधा हो दाड़ी जख तक सब बड़ जय सामने नेतृत्व दिए मैच प्रश्नतीत भावेशर क्रिकेटर सर्वकाले सर कैप्टें ड्रेसिंग रूम प्राण मठ और मठर बैरे जूनियर का बड़ बड़े आदर्श नाम मार्शाफी सिनियर जमन मानें तस्किन मत जूनियर प्रिय मार्शाफी भाइय मत होते चान सब फर्मेट मिलिए बांगलेश सफलतम अधिनयक टी टोटी व्यतिक्रम नई दुहजार चौदह साले विश्व बारि फर्मेटे शुरू तर कप्तानी छब्बीस मैच खेले टाइगरा एखकर तुलन में सदा माटा दल नहीं साफल एने दिए सर अर्जन एशिया कपर फाइनल खेला तब कैप्टन मार्शाफिर उच्चता के बर्णना कर समर्थन परिसंख्यन प्रत्येक मैच शेषे जख दल के खेलवाड़ और षोलो कोटी मानुष जय उल्लास करते थे तक मार्शाफी ड्रेसिंग रूमे सीज दिए टे बेर करें तर हाँटूते जमे थका पानी यही हलन मार्शाफी जे श्रीलंकार कैरियर प्रथम टी टोटी खेले तरह साथ मैच दिए कैप्टेंसर इति घोषणा बाकी रही शुद्ध वन डे विदय पालाई शुरू हल बोले कत कैप्टन एलें गलें कत जन ही सामने आसबें तब मार्शाफी मारियासन एक असमाप्त रेखे छाड़ते हैं टाइगर दलपति के सीज हारे साथ ही निजे इंजुरी नहीं हताशा जानदेश अधिनयक मेशराफी बीन मोर्तजा तब टेस्टे ना खेल दल घुरे दाड़ान नहीं आत्मविश्वास अन्दिगे पराजयर जो बैटिंग बोलिंग फिल्डिंग तीन विभाग के व्यर्थता के दायी कर सकिब अल हसान चापे रखले
সময়ের পোস্টারে লিখে যাও তুমি বাংলাদেশে তুমি যেত তুমি যেতাও তুমি বাঁচো বিজয়ের শুধু <laughs> 